Most kids dream of being an astronaut, a professional athlete, or a rock star when they're young. But as they grow older, they realize the odds are stacked against them to make it in a career where so few get the chance. White Bear Lake native John Cassida is living proof, though, that it is possible, as he's a NASA astronaut. He recently came back to his home state to speak at his old high school in White Bear Lake. It was super exciting. It hasn't changed a whole lot, I'll be honest, and that was really neat and welcoming. And I might even be able to see a couple of my, uh, my old teachers, which would be really neat. Cassida told us what his goals were for his speech to the students. To get them excited, uh, and not even necessarily about what I do, just about uh, some of the opportunities that are out there, and uh, so they're excited about uh, what options they've got. Um, whether it be in science and technology, I hope it is, uh, but whatever it is that they're doing, that they, uh, that they love what they're doing. Cassida graduated from White Bear Lake High School in 1991, and after earning his doctorate in physics in 2000, he was commissioned as a naval officer. In 2013, he was selected as one of eight members of the 21st NASA astronaut class. He's certainly earned many honors in his lifetime since leaving White Bear Lake, but he's quick to credit his time growing up there as a key to his success. It's a great foundation for, for any kid. I mean, of course, the education is, is incredibly solid, and, uh, you know, it is a great community of, of support uh, from both family and, and, and colleagues in the community. Uh, of, of teachers and coaches. Um, you know, obviously I've never grown up anywhere else, but this was a great place to do it. Cassida spoke to a gym full of juniors and seniors first thing in the morning before visiting with other science classes. That evening he spoke at the University of Minnesota. He hopes his visit was worth it to help inspire the students that occupy the same school he once called home. I hope they never self-select, right, or self-eliminate. Uh, that's, uh, the you know, if I had, if I had thought uh, that I was the one who needed to decide if I was going to be an astronaut or not, I probably wouldn't have applied because I would have thought, well, there are a lot of other uh, capable uh, people out there and it's just uh, the odds are against me. And uh, as soon as you eliminate yourself, it's over. Um, so hopefully they, uh, they, they take chances where it makes sense.